Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Daniela, and today we'll continue the expense. This time, the last episode of the fifth season. Yay! I am kind of scared. Uh, it's the last episode. At the end, something must happen. Everyone has their own problems to deal with. Marco still exists, and I mean, he was the one that made problems for others. Um, he told Drummer and her crew to go after the Rocinante, which Drummer is not that happy. Naomi is on, in a ship that uh, it can explode at any time if a ship can, comes too close. If she is messing with things there, there's also the proto molecule with Mars and. Cristiano resigned her position as an assistant there to the new secretary general. All kinds of good shit. Anyway, as usual, I got something to drink. The episode is ready to start. So, without further ado, let's do this. Looks like we got a skinny hunting party language. Two Martian warships and three armed Delta ships. They have to belong to Marco and Eros. I would take fire control. Fine. She will not let me help her after this. That will move to you. You really believe there is an after, okay? I have to. The only reason we're here is because you decided to go after your girlfriend. I'll accept my level of responsibility, but Marco and Eros killed millions on Earth. He murdered Fred. He started a war. That's why we're here. Getting killed before we get to fight really sucks. Uh, what about Monica? <laughs> she didn't sign up for this. So while we deal with these ships, you'll have to go on alone. Get Naomi. We'll buy you every second we can. Oh, the trusters. The trusters are... Or like... I think it's only one. Isn't the ship gonna start spinning around? The Chitsumoka just changed course. It's in a spiral. At least it's not running away from us now. So now it's harder to get closer. We can't dock with it now. If the Chit fires another maneuver and thrust it. We saw one. It had to be a malfunction. We'll be trying to dock two damaged ships in a high G turn. The breaking burn will be hellish. We're already juiced to the girls. We could stroke out. Naomi's on that ship. I'm gonna get her. That's that. I don't like that they, especially she brings up the stroke part. The goal is to fly through them and divide as much time as we can for the razor back. We're not trying to win. I'd rather win. <sighs> yeah, I'd rather too. Don't even twitch. Shut up. Oh my god. Trauma. No time. It's just drama. Just sing it. Oh. She did. He is a bitch. But I guess he did it so the others won't die. Killed by Marco. This is Rasanante. Shut down your reactors and stand down immediately. Was Joseph doing that? Did he technology. destroy the Open. The ship? This is drama. Whoa, that was unexpected. At this point. Just jump. <laughs> Jump out of the ship and maybe, hopefully, they can see her. At least they have a suit, no oxygen, but... 
But like, what if she's not seen and they get close? <laughs> I guess she dies by the blast anyway. I don't think she can float so far away from the ship. She's actually gonna do it. She's trying to communicate with the Belter language or science, actually. Oh my god. Shit. What is she doing? I think that one means ship. And that one? Big boom. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I brought her. Moving to rendezvous. Copy that. I'm on my way. Bring her on in. That one. What now, Brian? Just hold it, know we got her. Alex, do you copy? Alex, reply. Do you read me? Fuck! <sighs> Our trap for the Chetsamoka failed, and we lost two gunships in the process. We were betrayed. It's Philip's fault. He sent Robert after the Rocinante. Upset. There's no point to anger now. We tried to kill them. We didn't. Does that alter your plan? We still have more to do. You have grown. Mm. I'm happy to see it. We heard from Alex's ex. She wants to handle the funeral arrangements. We'll receive full military honors. <laughs> what a surprise! I'll take with every hard burn. You died saving me from my mistakes. The good and law abiding people of the belt. We are not at war with you, but we do more good. The people come into our lives and they go out. Families change. It can be hard and sad, but we bear it. As long as we don't shut ourselves off from the new. Wonderful things that come, and I know there will be more wonderful things for you. You can let me go. It will all be all right. I will love you, and Amos, and Alex, for as long as I love anything. Take what we have and build on it. In that way, I'll still be there. I want to see what else can happen. But I learned my lesson. No, no, no. <laughs> you lied to me. I knew this would be the cost. There was no other way. At least now, we can choose our own path. I'm leaving. I go with you. Joseph. I'm staying here. There's nowhere any of us can hide from this now. We can still stay together. We have nothing to stay together for. These colony ships could be a real opportunity. New planets, no cops or security, a lot of money to be made. New corners to carve out. I do what I know. 
There's a place for you if you want it. No thanks. If you change your mind... I won't. I know how close you two were. I'm so sorry. Why? It's not your fault. Losing a friend. Making a choice to hold your ground to save your family. As far as last stands go, that's the one I pick. Even though you were gonna kill me then, now we got each other's backs, right? It's no hard feeling. Of course. We're family now. It's all right. We're good! Thank you for being cool about this. Hi. You just come on up. This is what Marco Inaros hates. This is what he is afraid of. Why he tried so hard to destroy you and your ship. All we have to do now is to turn every Belter, Martian, and Earther into this. What's going on? I don't have all the details yet, but there's been another attack in the wing. Those rocks. Our ships were struck by a massive micrometeor cloud as the attack began. Don't tell me that Medina destroyed it. The the missiles came from the Med Medina. The station must be coordinating with Marco. Multiple new contacts incoming. They're MCR, right? Yes. No, no, That's yes, no. And now has control over the the ring. An entire fleet of Martians gone rogue in league with Inaros. That's impossible. It's madness. You may have bought them. How? The proto molecule. Tell the Admiral he has the protection of the free navy, mm. and that Laconia is yours and your heirs from this time forward. With our gratitude, you have your system. We have ours. This is to confirm that the sample arrived safely. We are already seeing beautiful results. By the time you arrive, I hope to be ready for third phase construction. Confident that the structures are stable and, I believe, still intact. With enough time and proper equipment, I have no doubt that I will be able to decipher the control patterns. Even with the sample in I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. Shut the fuck up! There is proto molecule in every system. There was on uh, on Phoebe, on Elus, now on Laconia. I think each ring goes to a place where the proto molecule is. Or was. Ring transit in three, two, one. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh. What an ending. Damn. 
Damn. <laughs> so that was, I think, that was the finale of the fifth season. And with that ending, I can't wait to see the the sixth. Um, a lot of things happened. I don't know where to start from. <laughs> Drummer? Uh, last episode. She was told by Marco to go after the Rocinante and destroy it, kill everyone there. In the beginning she appeared that she would do that. But um, by the end, I don't know if she changed her mind because I don't think she was gonna do that. Um, I don't know, she was in a tough spot. Um, either kill. Holden and people that she she knew and you know, they were kind of friends. They were getting along Or put at risk her crew She didn't like from the beginning the idea to work for Marco because um, I mean Marco killed Frank Johnson and especially Ashford um, but I think she did it because she didn't want to put uh, in danger the her crew. I don't know, I think it was too much for her. Too, much, too many things to accept. And she just did it. And I think she knew that the, the guy that was with Marco gonna end up dead if she did something and that's what happened um oh i uh, i always forget her name the the girl sent by marco she ended up dead um uh, she wasn't killed by um by drummer but um uh, it was an accidental death <laughs> Um, but the result was the same, either she, she meant to kill her or not. Now, two people of her crew left, one of them is Oksana, that guy that stopped Drummer um, when she was pointing the gun. I don't know. I. I don't blame him either. I would like to think that he did it because um, he was afraid that... Oh my god, what's his name? Kylo? The the guy with, on, on the Pella. He was afraid that he's gonna get killed. And um, he knew that if they're gonna go against Marco, they're all in danger and that's why he did it not because he truly believed what Marco is saying I don't know um, well, drama lost half of her family and she has to stay away from Marco and from any other ship that's part of the free navy. Naomi's alive. <laughs> she managed to escape. She jumped. Um, luckily, Alex and I mean Bobby saw her and went after her and saved her. But Unfortunately, Alex died. I 
I didn't like how many times they brought up the stroke part. Um, honestly, I had a feeling that something might happen with Alex, with the character, because of what I kind of knew about the actor, but I like I'm not up to date with the latest news about him but you know some time ago came up came out some news about him i don't know if they ended up being real or were just allegations or still are i have no idea because i didn't check uh, but because of those things when when um it came out I had a feeling that you know his character will disappear somewhere uh, I don't I don't know I didn't thought that it's gonna die necessarily I thought that you know maybe they would um, make him leave the Rosinante and the crew go back to Mars and even if there is there wasn't any chance to go back to his wife and be together but at least be on Mars and um, you know be there for for his son when he needs him or you know spend some time together you know finally uh, if he he left him like that and didn't I mean that was the reason why they divorced him and his wife because he left and didn't had any sort of communication with with his family for a long time and they were worried about him and all that stuff you know and I thought that maybe uh, at the end we have some like a redemption <laughs> in a way but no instead it saddens me that I'm not gonna see him he was there from the beginning five seasons and now it's no more It, it was so sudden and also I don't know Holden and maybe Naomi felt a bit like it was her fault that he died but like Holden and Amos I don't know they weren't that sad about it I don't know I know it was like yeah that's a death that a lot of pilots have and a lot of people on the ships and he died doing what he loved most <laughs> I don't know uh, this season there were a lot of deaths a lot of deaths of the ones that um, you know I kind of cared about it was Ashford and um, Johnson, even Arjun, and uh, now Alex. Yeah, I, I think never happened. Like in the other four seasons, I don't think that died so many people that you know they were known. Also, like Fred Johnson was from the first season, and Marco is doing his thing. Um, destroyed the the ships that uh, were guarding the um, the ring, and Medina it's uh, with him. 
I, I thought that maybe like the first time that I saw the missiles go through the ring, destroying that ship, it came to mind uh, what um, I think it was Felix that said it that there were uh, some belter ships passed through the ring that maybe weren't uh, identified or something like that that like more ship more belter ship passed than the the data is showing But uh, no, it was Medina Station. So, Martians, the, the proto molecule already passed since it was launched there yeah, on, on that missile. Cortazar is already on other side of the ring. They found a new system and now he's on. Wait, what was called? Called Laconia. He got the proto molecule, and that's that's their planet. So what year? And Emily, I think her name was. Are going there. And this planet looks honestly a lot better than than Elus. There are mountains with some snow on them in the background, clouds. There are like hills with green on them, a lot of green. And, um, of course, those structures are there as well. And they say that by the time the sort of, sort of, sort of you know, uh, so why do I have so much? The beach here, the third phase. will maybe begin like ready for third phase construction which is great i love that and there's a thing in the sky what is this wouldn't be cool though if this is not like It's more of the the ones that killed the creators than the proto molecule and the structures that uh, um, that the creator made. Like on Illus, there was a tiny bit of that thing, but now on Laconia, what if there's more? This part is crazy. They are getting ready to go through the ring. She is giving her, uh, him the bracelet. Time stops. All goes dark. They kind of disappear. And those things that Holden kept seeing, but a lot more like the, the reactor stops. There is red light all over and that's it. The doctor on, on Elus, the researcher there that was um, doing experiments with little animals, you know, she made this video <laughs> showing this, these things that destroyed the, the, the creators and it's exactly the same. But I think now, like, are for real and they destroyed 
the bar keys. But Cortazar managed to go through that ring. Is it finally they are angry and now we can focus on the the ones that killed the proto molecule instead of the proto molecule and the creators and see how they work? I'm so happy that the next season is coming up in a few days, I think. 10 December. Ah. <sighs> Oh, what an ending, as usual, damn. I mean, they need a pilot. Will Ball be the pilot there? And, and Clarissa is on Dora Senante now. Holden wasn't so happy seeing her, and understandable, but I think he trusts Amos. You know, if she was really dangerous, I don't think he would have brought her on Rocinante, on Dora Senante, so he... Holden knows that, you know, she's not dangerous if Amos allowed her on the Rocinante because he knows Amos will never put the, <laughs> the family in danger. Well, yeah, uh, I think I stop here. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy. I will see you next time. Bye.